Next one up, the dark gray and burgundy. I believe these will release next week, probably on Saturday. Following up from the olive, these dark gray are very nice. I can definitely see finding some dark burgundy red strings putting in here. I'm sure I've got some out in my boxes of laces and strings that I keep buying. And I'm confident they would add a good look to this. Although the black waxed laces are very nice as well. The same print that we see on that VacTech, the same suede that is molded into the shoe. Good leather. This is a good fall seasonal look of these almost one piece Air Force Ones we're seeing. This skive or skiv or whatever the proper pronunciation is, I don't want to mess it up, but I have no idea. So if anybody knows, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Until then, I'll call them skives. The VacTech mold has been getting a lot of attention here on Air Force Ones this year. Rightfully so, it's a good way to go. Overall, a very good shoe. Hard to go wrong with that dark gray. And when you throw that burgundy in there, a colorway they've done on Air Force Ones more than once. A premium shoe, yet still should not be hard to find. It's more of a general line release. Many shops will have these for you. Glad I got mine just a little bit early. Good looking shoes. Here we can see maybe the mold got just a little bit too hot. Trying not to go too hard on Nike, but the quality continues to fail. Got to get a better handle on that, guys. Paying lots of money for these shoes these days. Lots of time to chase them down. Got to get back to what the company or what the community expects out of Nike company quality. And with that, as always, you can find me at Sam Colt 12, also on Google Plus, Instagram for photos and video. The latest good shoes, probably out next week. Get them if you want them. Be sure to check the quality so that you get exactly what you're looking for. Air Force Ones, still a favorite.